Okay, so today we're going to be showing our new uh, 2GR model. Um, our standard models, which are the 1Gs, 2Gs, 3Gs, and 4Gs, always had a metal electrical box that was mounted through the back and delivered this way. Some of the situations that we've seen is if somebody does not make sure that the box is fully centered, it could be a little bit more challenging to be able to align the device uh, because you don't have access to the back box after installation. So some of the requests that we've had is that we had access through these boxes through the front. What we've created with this 2G model that I'm showing here is the ability um, to take a standard Carillon uh, old work box, be able to simply put it through the front. It has indentation to receive the box perfectly so it perfectly aligns it and centers it and with these two screws here what you do is you secure the years that were would secure the actual box in place and be able to wire everything through the front the other advantage with this unit is in some conditions where we don't necessarily need an electrical box but we do need to mount devices we're able to use just a carlon ring in this instance and be able to just put that in place. Again, it receives perfectly the indentation. So when you mount the device, it doesn't push it any fur for further forward. And it still allows you to be able to secure the ears through the front, always removable and interchangeable in the future. And it gives you access behind to get to whatever devices you need. This completes the new model 2GR. Uh, we'll have the same exact uh, setup available in one gang, two gang and three gang conditions. Welcome to Silly Solutions instructional videos. Today we're going to be talking about how to. Typically you would either install the device onto the wall by screwing it into the studs and then afterwards bringing it into the gypsum. So the idea here is that you always want to bring this surface here flush with the gypsum allowing the extra lip here so when they're mudding it gives them more space to level everything in place we've seen some instances where if you're using bigger bulkier head screws that are not flush with or not pre-drilled into the aluminum what would happen is it would actually push our device further back just like that which makes it a little bit more difficult to install in this instance, there's two things you can do. You can either adjust the brackets in the newer model to the three quarter that will allow you to bring it flush, or you can actually do what we're doing here, whereas using the screws and screwing through the front of the drywall into the bracket, just like when you're mudding in standard drywall. And then once you screw it in, the screw gets flush with this. And then when you're mudding over, you're hiding the screw surface. So these are two different ways to install it. The device is also made to be installed as a retrofit. So if you have your wires ready here, you can bring it into the wall, bring it into the front, pull it forward this way, and then screw in the same way I was mentioning to secure it. The brackets are also interchangeable to the sides. So if for some reason you couldn't put them on this side and you wanted them left and right, you're able to do that as well. It also allows you the flexibility to install something vertical or horizontal. We've added additional lines to allow you to adjust the brackets. Uh, we've added a three quarter line. So we now have a half inch, a five eighths and a three quarter, where before we only had a half inch and a five eighths. So when mining the, the device in, you would typically tape around here usually using a mesh yellow tape. Usually comes more recommended in the paper tape because uh, it allows the mud to actually sink into it. And then once you mud it in place, the better it is. It allows you to really just make sure you have plenty of mud around. It allows you also to, to level the wall. So the idea is always to create multiple layers and stretch them as far as possible so you can create a more even surface. And then once sanding it down, it allows you to really see where the unevenness is you can also put in a second layer if you wanted to and then once you level it all and sand it down you're able to just paint it or texture it the way the way you want 
the center is already pre-finished. So all you have to do at that point is just simply paint it. So when installing the product, it's always nice to put some blue tape to protect the inside since it's already level five finished. There's really no need to go on the inside since this area is already level five finished and it already has the perfect reveal around it. Uh, so when mudding and painting, it's always recommended to simply do it around the perimeter and try to protect the center of this as much as possible. Because if you do puncture it in some way, it's a little bit harder to get it perfectly level like it is now. So just st stick to the perimeter and try to maybe cover or tape the inside until it's ready for paint. And this way, once you mud everything, sand and paint, all you have to do is simply take off the tape. The inside is already ready to go, just like here. And it's nice and clean on the inside. So we've made the device bigger to allow more space to tape and mud. In the past, we've seen that when they were taping and mudding, they were actually getting mud on the inside. And then if they don't clean it right away, when it dries, it can actually arm the corners. So we've allowed more space for it. The other thing that we've done is if you look to the sides, we've added additional thickness here for the finished surface. So we found that there was some instances where there was more than a level five finish where they wanted to do an additional layer of plaster or something like that. So this gives you a lot more room to finish in mud. Thank you for watching these instructional videos. We're available at any time uh, via phone or email. Let us know any questions, any feedback you might have. We're always open to suggestions.